Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to tell you why you need to sign into your Google accounts at least once every two years, or else you might lose them forever. That's right, Google has announced a new policy that will start deleting inactive accounts from December 2023. So if you have any old or unused Google accounts, you might want to pay attention to this video. First of all, what is an inactive account? According to Google, an inactive account is one that has not been signed in for at least two years. This means that if you have a Gmail, YouTube, Google Drive, Google Photos, or any other Google service account that you haven't logged into for a long time, it could be at risk of being deleted. Google says that this policy is meant to protect the privacy and security of users, as well as to free up storage space and resources. However, there are some exceptions to this policy. If you have a paid Google account, such as a Google Workspace or a Google One account, you don't have to worry about this policy, as your account will remain active as long as you keep paying for it. Also, if you have any active subscriptions or purchases through your Google account, such as Google Play Music, Google Play Movies, or Google Play Books, your account will also be considered active. And, if you have uploaded any videos to YouTube, your account will not be deleted either, even if you haven't signed in for a long time. So, how can you prevent your Google accounts from being deleted? Well, the simplest way is to sign into your accounts at least once every two years. You can do this by visiting any Google service, such as Gmail, YouTube, Google Drive, or Google Photos, and entering your username and password. If you have forgotten your password, you can try to recover it by following the steps on the screen. If you have enabled two-factor authentication, you will also need to verify your identity with a code or a device. Another way to keep your Google accounts active is to add a subscription or a purchase to your account, such as Google One, Google Play Music, or Google Play Movies. This will not only keep your account active, but also give you some extra benefits, such as more storage space, access to exclusive content, or discounts on apps and games. However, this option will cost you some money, so you might want to consider if it's worth it for you. One more thing you can do to protect your Google accounts is to set up your inactive account manager. This is a feature that lets you choose what happens to your account if it becomes inactive for a long time. You can choose to share your account with someone you trust, such as a family member or a friend who can access your data or manage your account on your behalf. You can also choose to delete your account automatically after a certain period of inactivity. You can find this feature in your Google account settings under data and personalization and then inactive account manager. By following these tips, you can make sure that your Google accounts are safe and secure and that you don't lose any important or valuable data. Remember, Google accounts are not just email addresses. They are also your identity and your access to many online services and content. So treat them with care and respect and they will serve you well. That's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.